So for the first experiment one, we're going to start introduce the objects used to measure. The first one is the glass rod. Okay, so this is our glass rod. The second object is a coin. You can use any coin, but I pick a coin of 50 cents. Uh, the third object is uh, the ball bearing. Okay, this is just a normal ball bearing. Uh, the fourth object is um, a physics lab manual book. Okay. And for the measuring apparatus, we're going to begin with um, a meter rule. So this is a standard half a meter rule. Okay. Uh, the second measuring apparatus used is the vinyl caliper. And the last measuring apparatus is the micrometer screw gauge. Before we start uh, the measurement, so we're going to start check by uh, the zero error on each of our measuring apparatus. So for the meter rule, there is uh, no zero error presents. And for the second measuring apparatus, which is the vinyl caliper, uh, we are aware that there is no zero error as well. Just pull the screw closely tight and check for the zero error. So the zero scale for the vinyl reading and the zero scale on the main readings are parallel. So there is no zero error presence on our vinyl clip as well. And for our third measuring apparatus, which is a micrometer screw gauge, we're going to screw the timber, close it tight, and screw this uh, ratchet once, make it click once, and then check for the zero on the main reading and as well as the zero on the vinyl reading. And it seems that there is no zero error presence on our measuring apparatus. Start the first measurement of our glass rod. So in order to do that, uh, we're going to put the glass rod in between the anvil and the spindle by uh, lightly rotate the timber and make it closely as tight as possible. Uh, don't make it too much pressure on the objects and if, if you feel like uh, the glass rod can be pulled out easily then we can twist the ratchet ones okay so we're gonna start by seeing the the readings on the main skills and the venue skills so it seems that uh, for the main skill uh, the reading is uh, around 5, so the main scale would be 5 mm. And for the Venice scale, we can uh, see the lines that par that goes parallel in between the uh, main scales and the Venice scale. It shows that uh, these lines are intersects at 42. Okay, so 42. Uh, so the Venice scale would be 0 0.42. So add up between the main skills and the veneer skill gives us uh, the actual readings of uh, the glass rod is uh, 5.42 millimeter. We can measure the second object is uh, the ball bearing using the same micrometer screw gauge by placing the ball bearing in between the anvils and the spindle and rotates the timber uh, as close as possible to our object. So as it gets uh, tight enough, we're going to uh, click the ratchet once, just like that, and see the readings on our main skills and the venue skills. For the main skills, it seems like um, the reading shows around 15 and there is another small line there, so it's around uh, 16. So the main scale would be 16 millimeter, and for the Venus scale, we, we're going to see the lines that intersects between the main scales and Venus scales. It gives us around 40, 41. So the Venus scale is uh, 0 0.41. Uh, so the actual readings for the Bowberry would be 16 plus 0 0.41, which is a 16.41 millimeter. To measure the diameter of our 50 cents coin, we're going to place uh, the coin in between the jaws of our vinyl caliper. By doing that, we're going to screw the jaws as close as possible to the coin and take the reading. It seems that uh, the main scale reading is uh, around 2.70 centimeter. 
we're going to see the zero on the vernier reading intersect to which lines on the main scale. So it gives a uh, 2.70 centimeter. And for the vernier reading, we're going to see the two lines that intersect between the vernier scale and the main scale. You can use the magnifying glass in order to see those two parallel lines. Uh, it seems that the lines that intersect is around 0 0.07 cm. Add up between the main scale, 2.70 cm, and the venous scale, 0 0.07 cm, it gives you the actual reading for the diameter of the coin is 2.77 cm. The next object that we can measure is uh, our lab book. So we can measure either the length of the book or the width of the book. So I'm going to pick the length of the book to be measured. So in order to do that, we're going to place the meter rule from the end of the book. And to avoid any parallax error that might be occurred during the experiment, we're going to uh, use another tool. In, uh, in this case, I'm going to use a, a standard ruler and place the book and the meter rule, make it parallel to one another, and take the readings of uh, the length of book. So I'm going to again place the ruler and read the readings on the ruler. So it gives you around 24. 9 centimeter. So the length of book is 24.9 centimeter. This is the first version to take the measurements of the book. Uh, if if says that your ruler is not starting from the zero reading, you can use the second version. The second version that I'm going to show you is uh, the, re the reading of the initial is not starting from zero. So in this example, I'm going to show from uh, the 3, 3.0 centimeter. You can pick either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and any number. So I'm going to pick 3.0 centimeter this time. So I'm going to place 3.0 centimeter and use again the ruler and make it parallel to our book. Okay? So do it carefully to avoid any parallel error. Okay, so the initial reading is 3.0 centimeter. And we're going to take the readings of the length of book by placing the ruler to the end of uh, 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 the book. So we're going to read the reading. It gives around 27.9. So 27.9 centimeter. So the actual readings of uh, the length of our manual book is 27.9 centimeter minus with 3.0 centimeter, which is uh, 24.9 centimeter.